So get ready. I said, get ready. Amen. Remember that I'm not here that I'm missing a lot. Remember what it means to be in the presence of God and worship God. Yes, Lord. I'm told there is a changing program. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's quickly listen to a word of exhortation for this day. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't, I do not like to sit, stand up at this stage, but um, today is my day. <laughs> Amen? Amen? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you because you are wonderful, my beloved. We worship you, please, you are for who you are, for what you are doing. Father, in your presence. But I'm asking, Father God, as we talk to you, use me as a vessel. Let me disappear, Father God, I want you to do my work. When I'm talking, Father God, let my mouth be used for by you, only you, because I'm easy. And the people who see this world, they see them with joy and peace coming from above. I thank you, I'm going to fight in Jesus' name, I say thank you, and amen. Amen? Amen. 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 It's wonderful. It's very good. Uh, when Sister Rebecca called me to talk about today for 10 minutes, I was like, oh God. Mm. I said, God, what, what do you want to do with me for real? And that's what I tell Sister Rebecca, did you talk to Pastor to ask him the permission because I'm not going to go there without him saying yes. And then he said, I will talk to him. I said, that's good. But when she was talking, when she called me that day, I was in my room asking God what What's going on with my life, for real? Because I, if I see, I cannot even say thanks, thank you God, for what I'm going through. I cannot say that, but the thing is, if you ask your daughter to call me and tell me, I will be the one who's speaking in front of your, in your church, your congregation, about Thanksgiving, I feel like God, I am blessed. And then I know even I'm going to some, I am really, really blessed from above. Because the Thanksgiving, it is a Thanksgiving is a time to reflect and to thank you for thank, for, to be thankful for all that God has been given to us. But when I, see, I look at my life that time, everywhere I was going since July to almost now on, I didn't see nothing to thank God for. But anything, anyway, I was thanking God. I was praising, I was worshiping. No one will know what I was going through if I didn't open my mouth to tell them. But I, I thank him. Because they say in the Bible, they say, if we take a look at um, Thessalonians, Thessalonians um, 1 Thessalonians 5, say 18, say, give thanks in all circumstances, for, for he is God. Will God, uh, he's God, for his will, um, I don't know, can you guys do a little bit for me because I'm going to be a little bit faster? Can one of you find it for me? I know. 5, 18. Give thanks in all circumstances. Mm -hmm. So, in everything, give thanks. Mm -hmm. For this, this is the will of, of, of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 That means everything, every time, even I was going to some, I need to say thank you. And I thank God because all that time I was going to some, I, I was getting up and then saying thank you to God. I was working up and thank you God. God, we're working here at the three o'clock and then I, I woke up and said, God, thank you. And then I would praise God for that time. Because I know when sometimes when you go to some, you don't feel like the urge of praying. You don't feel like worshiping. You don't feel like praising God. But it, it was so good to me. One time when it would go horror, I would start laughing so loud. I said, God, I said, God, I thank you because I know and I know you are doing my thing to me. And you are blessing me. And I know at this moment you will you will open the floodgates of heaven or of heaven to let flow everything that I lost I will get it double double fold and the seventh fold I, I know I will get it because I know my God will supply all my needs 
And then if I look at the this is taken from Table Ten Chronicle also he said, give uh, one chronicle of Chronicle 1634. Give thanks to God for all. Give thanks to God to the land of He is good. We need to know how to thank God to say He is good because He's doing it. If you work us today, we need to learn how to say thank you. If we are here today, we need to know how to say thank you. Because it brought us here not to to make us to, to make us feel bad, to make us shamble, to make us crumble, to make us do some stupid stuff, but he let him make us be here today because he loves us and he's blessing us. And his blessings keep growing in our lives day and night. And it's doing marvelous things to in our lives. If we see, if God can open our spiritual eyes to see what we are about to have in the future, we will be, we will be jumping, we will be shouting, we will be present in the real. But most of the time, we see now our spiritual eyes is so diminished because we are seeing now, and we are not seeing the future. I thank God for everything He's doing for me. And then we will read also Chronicle 18 and uh, 16. One Chronicle 16, 8 to 9, that said, Give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, mm -hmm. make known his deeds. Mm -hmm. 16. Mm -hmm. 16. Okay. Make yeah. known his deeds among the people. Mm -hmm. Sing unto him. Sing sense unto him. Mm -hmm. Talk ye of all his wonderful words. Mm -hmm. Amen. He said, give thanks to God. And then talk about him. How many times we sit down, we don't even talk about God. People don't even know we are Christian. People don't even know we belong to such a church. People don't even, even know to whom we believe. It's so a shame as a Christian, we don't even talk about him. Talk about him wherever we go. Because every single day I'm telling my sister and my brother, God is doing something. Something, when I say something, he's doing something big. But no, we don't see it. We want just to be blessed. My, like we see my children think, oh, oh, when he bless me with something, I know I will talk about it. When he give me something, when he give me a husband, when he give me a children, when he give me a house, when he give me a car, I will talk about it. But what about the things that you don't see? Are you saying thank, thank you about it, to God about it? I thank God for me. Sometimes I just laugh louder, like I said before. Because I know my reward will be my reward will be so big. Today you see me like that. But tomorrow I don't know how you're gonna see me. Because I have a faith. Because I know to whom I believe. And my God will not let me down. Because I know and I know. As long as I serve him, as long as I walk with him, as long as I praise him, as long as I worship him, he will, he will bless me. And then I'm shouting about it. I talk about it. Not only the good thing, I talk about everything about the people I meet. If that if God touch, like send me somebody to talk to, I talk about everything God did to me. I don't care about my, my now situation, but I'm thinking about everything, and I praise God for that. Let's just read again. In Isaiah, the same, the same kind of word we're going to read again is saying, we need to learn how to talk about God. In every, every time, Isaiah 12, 4 said, And in that day shall he say, Praise the Lord, call upon his name, declare his doings among the people, make mention that his name is the Lord. Amen. It's the same kind of way. 
But I'm going to change a little bit the way of thanksgiving also. When you talk about him in the good and what he did in your life, talk to him in every way you go, shout about him everywhere you go, it's a thanksgiving also. I'm going to talk about something else about, let's, let's read about um, Psalm 7, 17. And then the same one will go at Psalm 28, 7. And the same one will go Psalm 104. Can you just please read it for me, please? Okay. Psalm 7, 17 says, I will give thanks to the Lord because of because of his righteousness. And I will sing praise to the name of the Lord most high. That means I will say thank you to him because of what he did in my life in righteousness. And then I will sing praise to him. Sometimes when they say sing, we don't know how to praise him by singing, by dancing. We don't do a good thing about it. My sister, my brother, if you know that God, if you know what he's doing for you, if you know how he fights for you every single day, when you're sleeping, you don't know what's going on. But you don't have the time. When sometimes they say, Thanksgiving the church Sunday, you need to see people how they sing, how they dance. Barely dancing, barely singing. For real? Are we for real? People of God, are we for real? We're supposed to be crazy. Because he's doing miracles for work for us. He's doing a wonderful job for us. He's fighting for our, our, on our behalf. He's giving us victory, even though we don't deserve it. But he's giving it to us. And as he's covering us by his blood. And as he's healing us by his blood. Seriously, we need to know how to praise him. We need to know how to sing for him. We need to know how to dance for him. Let us be crazy for him because he's crazy for us. When I say crazy, because he's giving his, 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 son, his, his own son, loving son to us in the cross of Calvary. You, who can do that? I think I cannot do that. I cannot give my daughter to some, for somebody. I can. I can. I cannot do. I cannot give my son for somebody. I can. But he did it for us. He did it for us. What are we giving in return? Bad. What are we giving back? Nothing. Sometimes it's harder for us to worship. It's harder for us to do the work of God. Seriously, my brother, my sister, let's think about it. Let's walk the work of God. All the passage I gave to you is just how to praise Him, how to worship Him. I want you guys to be the crazy church, to be the crazy, crazy, crazy church. And then that way, who we see? The wall of Jericho fell down because of praise. Not something else, because of praise. That means God can do mighty work for us. Can break a lot of things in our life. Can give us victory because of praise. People of God, now it's almost a present time. Let us be crazy. Thank you. Okay. Hallelujah.